Hi, this is Stefano Di Paola, CTO at Mandate Security and creator of Dominator and Dominator Pro. I'd like to show you today how to use Dominator Pro Father feature and at the same time how to identify and analyze a classic HTML injection in www.google.com uh, whose fluid co code resides in googleadservices.com which is used by other websites for advertising. So, um, let's uh, run Dominator Pro, which is all this. This is a modified version uh, of Firefox in order to add tainting uh, at runtime in JavaScript to execute during JavaScript execution. And uh, let's go to this uh, very simple um, JavaScript console and let's add uh, this code <coughs> what we um, what we want to execute in uh, in the context of this page is uh, uh, the search for a particular pattern in uh, the um, location so uh, we are looking for the pattern m percent a b c equal uh, inside the location of course once it's executed the, the pattern is not found since there is not there and uh, but dominator pro collects this uh, um, search for this pattern and uh, use it uh, in order to fudge the url so if we uh, send uh, if we press the, the url fudging button we will see that the pattern is actually added to the URL uh, in, uh, and uh, since it's added to the URL uh, then uh, a new uh, flow can be executed and uh, probably can be analyzed uh, some new um, interesting flow inside the JavaScript so uh, it's very simple right uh, Let's go to the toolbar.google.com and here we are. So actually no alerts is found. In fact nothing is being... Um, there's no alert since there is no uh, execution, possible execution. Uh, at the moment so we can try to uh, URL fads the Google this page this page of Google com uh, toolbar and have a look uh, if uh, something in the flow changes actually we can see here that two new alerts have been found and we can see uh, here that uh, uh, something that belongs to the location is being used uh, in the document dot write and this is the value which uh, is the argument for document dot write which probably um, uh, is dependent to the um, location to string so by clicking we have the issue description uh, the source history which uh, is actually what we are going to uh, look now and what is the source history the source history uh, shows how the source has been treated before it goes in the sink so uh, there are there is uh, as you can see is taken the location and there is some concatenation to the left uh, is taken a substring the substring uh, tries to extract uh, this xxxx which actually is uh, this pattern here so this means that uh, the uh, the content of uh, GAD parameter uh, is taken and then is used uh, for concatenating uh, with something that is uh, not tainted in fact is black and uh, there are several concatenation and there is the cost for the construction of uh, uh, the final string which is this one 
which is an iframe um, string, a string representing an iframe HTML in HTML, and this string is used as uh, argument for document.write. What we can see here is that there is no encoding uh, for that XXX uh, payload. So, uh, probably it will be exploitable very s in a very simple way. Um, just to have a look, we can uh, uh, have a look at the call stack and see that uh, the flowed code is actually in the landing JS page which resides on googleadservice.com and uh, this is the part where the uh, all those concatenation come and the URL comes from uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, this uh, uh, concatenation and uh, so uh, this way we know exactly where the uh, the sync uh, happens so since uh, probably this uh, uh, is uh, another point and in fact is the, the, the document right used uh, right after the first one and uh, we have uh, another source history here uh, which comes for the uh, also for xxxx so we can just now try to uh, inject something since we are uh, for example here on an iframe we can try to add on load event you, you can use document dot domain just to be sure and uh, let's execute it and here it is we executed the uh, the alert so the JavaScript so and in fact here we can see in the source history that now the pattern that's used is the xxx quotes on load and so on so we can see here that uh, where the injection takes takes place okay so here now <clears throat> okay so um since this is Dominator Pro, uh, which is a modified version of Firefox. It's actually not a real browser. Let's go on a real browser and see if this um, payload can be uh, used on, uh, for example, on uh, um, Explorer. So let's use it. Uh, let's be to just to be sure here it is and use like this and see and you see, you can see now that uh, the alert is executed so that's it and hope you enjoyed the this video and I'll be glad to have uh, some feedback about Dominator Pro and of course anything else Thank you very much.